Hey all and welcome back to another tutorial with Powerlines Pro. Today we're going to be going through a LiDAR model and how we can use LiDAR design tools to accurately model the existing network in minutes. The design example that I'm going to be using for this demonstration is the LiDAR example here that you'll find on your home page. Go ahead and click on this sample design to open up the model that I'm using. The first step that I'm going to take before I start designing is I'm going to deselect the point cloud data that I don't want to see. So I can focus on my structure and my conductors. So that is special, building, vegetation. And now I can start focusing on the design. You'll see that my brown LiDAR points represent my poles and cross arms, and then my purple LiDAR points represent my conductors. To accurately and instantly place poles down in PowerLines Pro, wherever pole LiDAR data occurs, I can click Edit and Extract Poles from LiDAR. If I need to fine tune the placement of the pole, I can click the Snap tool and snap the pole location to those LiDAR points. I'm going to click my conductor tool at the top left and make sure I have the right construction and conductor being used. I can then select the poles that I'm going to be creating those spans across, like so. Now I know the construction being used in the middle pole is in fact different, so I'm going to click on that pole in the middle and change the construction to something more sensible. Now you'll see that some LiDAR points start to turn grey and some stay purple. If it turns grey, that means the conductor is a good fit at that point. However, if it's purple, it means it's not a good fit. Now there are two different ways that PLP can go ahead and accurately model the conductor based on the LiDAR points that we've been given. The first step is to select your conductor span, click edit, and fit our selected conductors from LiDAR. The second method of modeling your conductor is to use a snap tool. Using the snap tool, you can snap the cable sag and the attachment points, also the insulator offset of your conductors. Uh, the attachment heights are already correct, so I'm just going to snap the cable sag of this conductor here to the purple LiDAR points above. As you can see, they'll run through the entire circuit accurately and change all the colors of the LiDAR points to gray. 